Hey planner babes, it's Amber from Amber Planner Day, and I just want to come on for some more memory keeping, specifically of Rose and our little man's first birthday. So make sure you stay tuned. So before I um, get to the memory planning, I wanted to show you guys the finished product of Rose's first year memory keeping that I did a couple weeks ago. You guys seem to enjoy the video, so I decided to do the first year, um, first birthday. Um, so I just have some birth stats. I wrote down her name and the meaning of her name, and then each month in the middle, I kind of wrote her bigger milestones and um, some like statistics down here, like what she was weighing and all of those things. Um, like at three months, she weighed nine pounds and 12 ounces. And at two months, eight pounds, 13 ounces. That's like the size of some newborns. Like she was really, really little. Anyway, I think that it turned out so cute. I love the way that it looks. And um, I love that I have these memories to look back on. And then I'm going to take a new page. I think we'll only need one page. Um, I think we're only going to do a one page memory spread. And I have my pictures. So because of foster care, we I can't show you the faces. So I just took sticky notes and covered anyone that you guys are not allowed to see. But um, their cake and they're here together both with their smash cakes. There's Rose by herself and Little Man by himself. This is like my favorite picture of Rose. It's so cute. These are some climbing blocks they got. These are both of our foster daughters. Um, and there's the three girls. They were all matching dresses. And one of the sticky notes fell off on this one. So let me fix that. But on this one, here's a car that my brother got for the babies and a little man by the climbing blocks and then Rose sitting in the grass. And then on this last page, we have, sorry, some of these sticky notes fell off. We have um, four generations here. My grandma, my mom, me and Rose, and then my family. So my brother, my mom, me and Rose. And then Mike and I, I can show you guys Mike. <laughs> there he is. And little man and me and Rose um, with the two birthday babies. And then this is actually the three fosters all together. So um, first we're gonna start by cutting up our pictures. And I love my Fiskars paper trimmer to do this. I think that it is perfect. I'll probably cut one with you guys and just show you how easy this thing is this thing is so easy to use if you don't have one it's like my favorite you just hold it down and it just slices it so perfectly this one is going to be a little bit more because I um, didn't have a border so it, there's some white space that I needed to cut off super easy you get this at Joanne at Amazon anywhere like that it's, the trash somewhere else and then this one will be right down the middle i'll have this link down to amazon on my affiliate link in case you guys want to buy it and like i said this thing just pops on and off very easily you guys can be buy repacks of these just so that you always have a sharp blade when you're cutting and if you're cutting it even extends to measure so i'll make sure that i have that linked down to amazon below but i'll be right back i'm going to cut up these pictures so that we can get to placing Okay, so we're done cutting up our pictures. I'm just going to move the cutter out of the way. And then um, I have my Tombow tape runner. There's some of my sticker books. And my glue stick. Riley probably put my glue stick somewhere, but that is okay. Um, so I'm going to try to put like some of these stick these. Um, pictures where I think they would look really cute. I know 
like maybe we can have like family pictures down here like that and then maybe some of the kid pictures um okay those are all cake pictures okay i love this picture of the three girls and then even oh, um and then maybe that picture no i don't want that picture i feel like it's too similar to this one so maybe um maybe 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 let's see maybe i'll put the four of us up here and then i can write their names right here and then maybe again with the cake pictures oh maybe i'll put the cake right in the middle like that because then it says both of their names i'm covering up his name but um and then i can write something here and then let's do it like i wish that i got a picture of all four kids that's the only thing unless i like put these on the back because I could put some pictures on the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, eight. So that might be perfect. So I think we'll leave these on the front and then put the rest on the back. And then we can write in this area. So my Tombow is so easy to use. You just um, run it along. I'll have this linked to Amazon as well in case you want to purchase a um, tape runner. And then I'll be right back once all of these pictures are taped down. Okay, so the pictures are now officially taped down and we are ready to go. I know in Baby Girl there is a smash cake sticker that I want to use on the birthday page and I think like honestly it'd be really fun to kind of um, put it right in the middle and then I can write about it because I don't know if you guys can tell really with these pictures but I can show you little man here is like he destroyed his cake and it got even worse but Rose she's like so dainty when she eats she <laughs> she's so funny she does not really make a mess at all and it's just really cute so i think i'm going to put this first birthday sticker as well um maybe on this side so i did tape these pictures down as well i ended up skipping one picture of just rose since i had this picture of just rose and um i like this one better so I think I'm going to put this one like that. And then, let's see, best birthday moment. I think we're just going to put that um, overlapped with like our family pictures because we love. It was a really good birthday. Oh, happy day. Um, I think we're going to put that in our generation picture. My mom like really wanted the generation picture to get done. So, and then I am going to look in baby boy because I know that their birthday page, like this, it's basically the same sticker book, just says boys instead of girls. Um, so I just knew that I didn't use all of, I love this says happy birthday little dude, but I already used the girl one already. That's okay. I do think I'm going to say what a year though. I think I'm going to say what a year right here. Maybe just like right below that. And then I think I'm going to do this birthday fun day. And I'm going to put that one right here. And we're just going to, I'm just going to write about their birthdays in this section. And then I can write something else over here. Um, And then, oh fun, look who's won. What if we put that like over here a little bit? And something I just want to remind you guys too is like, if you um, 
see like I'm overlapping some of the sticker with the picture and that's okay because I'm not like it doesn't ruin the picture and it doesn't ruin the sticker like it still works just fine um, I think we'll put a candle and then this is birthday girl so I don't necessarily want to use the birthday girl one. I do have the boy accessory pack. I just didn't bring it over here. So I don't really want to get up and get it. But um, on the back, I think that I'm going to put this little bear. I just have to move that sticky note for a second so that that will overlap just perfectly. Um, and not be put on the sticky note because I want to take the sticky notes off. When you're not looking, it'll be a secret. Um, I wonder if I should use some of these fun boxes and like, like I can like put this over here. Ooh, that sticker was crazy. And I can, you know, write a little caption for that picture. Um, I think that's kind of fun. And then maybe one Hmm. I think I'll just do one right here too. And then, should I do any on the front? I do have the bigger box. I think I could do like one right here. I wonder if I would need to, to layer off the page a little bit. And I'll just have to cut off the excess. But for roses, I don't need to cut anything. Um, so just, I had a sticky note fall off. Where did it fall off of? This is actually kind of hard to do. This is, this is kind of hard. There we go. Um, I need to cut this off. <laughs> Use my precision cutters because they are the best scissors. Um, I really like, I love memory keeping and sometimes filming it keeps me more accountable, but you know, when you have foster kids, it's, it's kind of impossible to do both. So I'm trying to figure it out. Um, and I think that the sticky notes is the best way. And if you guys don't think it's awful, then I think we'll kind of keep up with it. But... Oh, look at this, this new toy. I love it. I think I'm gonna layer that over here. New toy. And probably one with the car too. And perfect. Um, and then let's just see if there's any other mm, cuteness overload. Yes. They are so cute. Put that right in the middle right here. And then I think I'm gonna leave this space open for writing. Um, a noise with, this is boy, the wildest of all animals, a noise with dirt on it, most precious to their mothers. Oh my gosh. I do love my little boy. He is amazing. And I think that, yeah, I'm just gonna write in a couple, a couple things with you guys. Um, and then, um, like again, I will just go on my own, write it down, and um, just so you guys get to see what I do. So Rose was iffy about the new car and then over here I'm gonna leave that whole first line blank for his name I'm gonna say he loved I'm gonna underline it because that boy loves this car this new car And then I think I'll like do the smash cake over here. And like I said, some of it's gonna be a little harder because I can't do a lot with you guys. Um, 
but on this page we'll say um, the new climbing toys were so fun. Um, and then for his, I think I'll leave his blank right now. Um, and then I'll journal in over here. Um, and then this has their name, so I probably won't write their name. And then I'll write about the smash cake and then what we did that day. So that's kind of the memory keeping page and some of the stickers I chose. So I just wanted to show you guys like memory keeping doesn't have to be crazy or hard or long or whatever. Like just get one sticker book or two sticker books, get your pictures and it's so easy um, to tape them down and glue them down and then just journal right about the day and it's perfect. So. Thank you for following along as I share how I memory keep and kind of um, my process to make memory keeping easy for me just to memorize the big events and holidays in our family's life. I hope that you will continue to follow along as I plan my life day to day and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.